As many as 21 million people a year are sickened by the norovirus, but as contagious as it is, there are still a lot of questions surrounding how it's transmitted. We do know it is shed in fecal matter, but when someone with the norovirus vomits, do they release that virus into the air we breathe? And is it able to float around? Leslie Mouton shows us in order to answer those questions, researchers built, get this, a vomiting device. It may not be the most glamorous study, but researchers are learning a lot about something that's only been studied a little. We needed to know about projectile vomiting because that is very characteristic of a norovirus illness. For example, how much vomit comes out when you throw up. To answer that and a lot of other gross questions, Leanne Jagas turned to a gastroenterologist, a virologist, and an environmental engineer. At first I thought it was kind of a joke, but um, they were serious. When we got into it, we figured out that there was really not a lot known about the physics, the physiology of vomiting. This is the simulated stomach. Eventually, they were able to create a machine that could simulate the pressure and volume of vomit. And using a harmless bacterial virus that behaves like a neurovirus, they found... A lot of virus is released when you vomit, and it doesn't take very much to make you sick. And unlike the flu virus, the neurovirus can stick around for up to six weeks and withstand temperatures of up to 140 degrees. Jacob says knowing what contributes to the spread of norovirus can lead to better measures to prevent it. The best defense against the norovirus is hand washing with soap and also using antibacterial gel with a 95% alcohol content. To clean infected surfaces, use a solution of 5 to 25 tablespoons of bleach per gallon of water. Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.